Alright, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. We were back on a real little show. And we got our guests. You, you let the be play. We could let the be be play while we talking, you feel me? Get that get that little energy going. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on a real little show. Our number two starts right now. I have my um two co-hosts. Um, Mel from WYGL and yes, Craig sir. is in the building today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Craig, we got some things coming up, man. You know, um, you know, Cortica's coming up and we got media passes. We're going to be out there, man. You looking forward to that? Congrats to, that. to y'all. Yeah, yeah we, we, we are. Some we, big things. I mean, Craig came with the idea, man. I got to give, I, I will be wrong if I, if I gave myself credit for it. Craig was the mastermind behind this plot right here, for sure. That's right, man. We're just trying to put WSUC on the map. Essentially, trying yes, to make sir. some moves and just. I, I got the moves. That for real, I know? got the moves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making moves. Good song. If you my way, you gotta move. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, how it yeah, is. You gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do. do. We will have a quarter cause show that week on Monday in the huddle. Shout out to Kenny C and Robert. We out here today, but let me hand it over to Mel for the WYGL report for today's show. All right, so sad to say that we received some sad news today in the hip hop, the movie industry, Hollywood industry. Um, this week we lost John Witherspoon, and he died at the age of 77. Most of you guys know him from Next Friday, Friday, um, Boondocks, yeah. Wayne's Brothers. Oh my God! And the catalog does go on. Thank goes on. Um, my condolences go out to his family and friends, and you know we're not gonna have like another soul like his touch our hearts and make us laugh in any other movie like that but you know if you do have any of those movies such as friday boondocks you know just always watch it and always remember the greatness and the laugh that he brought into your life so, uh, yeah i mean this hollywood took a loss yeah. with this brother man hollywood took a loss man 77 i believe his death was real cardiac arrest well that's mm-hmm. what the report's saying um you know but damn man hollywood did take a loss rain brothers you know, my mom know me well. She was talking to me this morning. She was like, man, I was your show with Rain Brothers. I used to watch the Rain Brothers, Martin, Fresh Prince, Everybody Hates Chris. Those were my lineups on those um, NTV sh- um, shows right there, Definitely. man. You know, I, I could always count on Pops along with the Rain Brothers to give me a laugh, you know? Yeah. My love going bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't you tell nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, that was my dude, man. Oh, man. And he was working... I want to know, um, did they get the Friday movie complete? Because um, he was supposed to be in, in the new reboot um, for Friday, man, last Friday. So, you know, hopefully all the, all the, all the scenes are shot because I want to see Pops. And it's going to be even more emotional watching it when that, when that um, movie do come out. Because I know they started filming. I don't know if they finished it. And more, if, but you know, like even if they do, don't finish it, you know, they're probably gonna switch it in a way where he dies in the movie as well. Yeah. Um, but well, they probably do the RIP. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna they they gonna die like in the movie. They might do it, but but if they I didn't think, finish, if they didn't finish it, yeah, if they didn't finish it, yeah, yeah, that yeah, that, um, yeah, that is true. That is true. And they, that's like Fast and Furious. Yeah. Um, but they they got a, a guy that looks just like Paul Walker. His brother. His brother, man. I don't know. That looked more like his clone at that point. And <laughs> they look alike. I mean. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. RP, anything? Any thoughts on Craig? Um, I know Mr. Craig. Craig and Day Day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> tells me, everyone tells me I gotta watch Friday because my name no, is Craig. But yeah, his name is Craig, and he haven't watched Friday, man. <laughs> It's, it's unbelievable, man. Once again, man, Hollywood took a loss with the loss of his brother, man. Shout out to to the to the homie, um, John Witherspoon. What do we got next? Um, next on the list we have Kanye dropped a um Jesus is Jesus is King album, and you know, this was something interesting. May some of you may or may not know, but he does do um Sunday services. I don't know where at, but somewhere in Calabasas, of course, because they got money. Um, <laughs> but definitely he does his Sunday services where many artists do go there to perform. He puts on a really nice special where it's just like you come and praise God. Um, but he decided to drop an album. Um, in his sense, he calls it a gospel album, but um, iTunes say differently where yeah. it is labeled as a hip hop album. I did take a small listen to it um, it's like that upbeat gospel kind of thing, like that Mary, Mary Kurt, like kind of sort of, if you get what I mean, or like the typical 
little spiritual Kanye West that he is now turned into. Um, but it was just interesting. I like Follow God. That's one of the songs I do like. Yeah, I like that too. I like a lot of the songs on that on that album, yeah. to be honest with you. And a lot of people, it's not their cup of tea. And I'm like, yo, if you don't like gospel, then don't tune into the album. You're not going to hear Kanye West on that album talking about half the stuff that he talked about in, in his old songs. You know what I'm saying? The song is clean throughout. The whole album is clean yeah. throughout. Proverbs it's not one curse name. word in there. I was listening. I'm like, all right, is he going to drop the F-bomb here or say something? I mean, you know, or say a line that have you scratching because Kanye West is talented. Very Don't get me wrong, the brother is, is really is. extremely talented. But you know, there's a line. There's always a line when Kanye West. You're like, really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I was looking for that really line in that song. I mean, it was close to one, but it wasn't. Like I said, it was a clean album throughout. Yeah. I, I like that. Um, no church on Sun. No, no, no. Um, no. Close on Sunday song. That's what it's called. Close on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna probably I'm I'm, a, I'm finished listening to it because I didn't finish listening nah, to I it. Nah, I like that song. You but, heard, you, you know about that song, yeah, right? What you yeah, thought about yeah, that yeah. song? Close on Sunday. Close Your man Chick Fil A. Close on Sunday. Album? <laughs> that? I only look, I only listened to it once. So I don't know, That's remember. the one where he was like, um, Yo, my Chick Fil A. Close oh, yeah, on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, 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 that yeah, joint. I like that. I do like that a lot. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was a fan of the album too. You know, I mean, like, that was if, good. I was, if I was a gospel fan, I'm sure I would have liked it a lot more. Yeah. You know, but you can't go into it expecting like a real like yeah. hip hop, hip -hop yeah. album like yeah. most people are. I think that's why it's getting a lot of slack. Yeah. yeah. But I think he's doing what he does, man. I think Make this hits. is what makes Kanye incredible because he's technically, if you want to consider it, he's from like an older generation, kind of from yeah. the 2000s. He was yeah. making music for Jay in the 90s, making music of the 2000s, and he's been huge in many like different facets in the industry because yeah. he took a break from music and did fashion for a while and mm. you know now he's one of the hugest people in the fashion world yes too. he is you can't look past the greatness of kanye west yeah. no matter how many crazy stuff he might be saying in yeah. the media and that's why i can't i i, I can't i'm not gonna lie, i canceled kanye for for a year uh -huh. when he came up with that slavery was a choice comment but you know at the same time you know what got me to uncancel kanye west and it's not only the music but it was you know it's I can see where the brother may just be misinformed. And I'm not going to, you know, penalize somebody for being misinformed. Yes, when you do say something, you should have your facts straight. Yeah. Um, when I come on a real little show, I make sure I have my facts straight. I'm not perfect. Don't get me wrong, so don't come in my neck. Mm -hmm. But at, at the same time, I try. And I think he just misinformed. But I think he generally do care. Yeah. So I don't want to, you know, stone the brother for making a mistake, which it was, that he made. So I took a year off from him. I started getting back with um his music, and it, it, he just never fails to disappoint me. Yeah. I mean, he never disappoint me. Like it, it's always, you know, when you turn on Kanye West, bro, you're gonna be like, all right, I'm waiting for a good album because he he's just a musical genius. The way how he was able to switch up, um, in his song have that flow, that Christianity flows, and so I'm like a lot of things I heard. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that confuses me, um, is the fact that you know this reborn again because he was conscious christian conscious in before yeah. when he made jesus walks god show me the way because yeah. the devil trying to break me down jesus Thus walks you feel me <laughs> like he had those he had those songs back then so i don't know um you know is he you know he found god i always thought he had the knowledge of him and then you know he went into like real mainstream hip-hop yeah and then it seems like he's coming back but hey the brother you know, doing good for himself, he's doing good for himself. I'm surprised him and Kim Kardashian last to this day, to be honest with you. Um, I was just thinking that the other day, because I'm like, yo, like, for real, for real, like, I'm, I'm shook. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. Shook it. it gives me hope in the future. <laughs> it gives me hope in the future. If he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, another thing that you um texted in the chat, you said something about um Tank. Yeah. What did Tang have to say? So Tang <clears throat> basically said that he felt that it was very disrespectful that Kanye West labeled the album as a hip hop slash rap album when he clearly said that it is a gospel album. I can see where Tank is coming from because, like, of course, as you know, with gospel, gospel is strictly gospel. But for Kanye, Kanye considers himself an, a hip hop artist. Like Kanye is not a gospel artist; he is a hip hop artist. So it's like you can see both sides of the spectrum. Um, but I guess it would be like if you consider it a gospel album, make like why didn't you make it gospel? Like why isn't like titled gospel when you research it on Spotify, iTunes, and many other um, musical outlets that there are out there? I mean, so, it reminds me of um, Little Nas X with the country and hip hop yeah, situation. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fusion album. Yeah, kind of. and I, I'm actually I'm taking um, a class called Survey of African American Music. Mm -hmm. Just this week we got to gospel, 
and there is actually a lot that of class people. Is interesting, man. It's tell me about that. Class. Tell me about that class. I, I I'm registering well, next week. So <laughs> it breaks down pretty much like all of um black music yeah. from like the start, like ragtime and like yeah. slave music to um it went to like jazz, mm -hmm. blues first, and then it went to jazz, yeah. and now we're getting to gospel, um, and then we're gonna get to like hip hop at a later point, but. Pretty much with the whole class, from what I've taken away from it, is that white folk and rock and roll is all bitten off of like black music. Oh yeah. yeah. I would be nothing yeah. without the original black artists. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause blues was um, African American derived. Yeah. And that took a lot of slack back in the day. You know, it was originally called coon music by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you know, they were considered. I don't know if you guys know what blue notes are. Yep. The term like where it's kind of like going off key a little bit. Yeah. They, they would they would get slack for that, saying that they don't know music, that they're just like you know not playing the right notes, but they're really like just being creative, and it influenced a whole generation. Music today would any music really today would be nothing without early African American music. That's what I've taken away from this. No, this class. Yeah, absolutely yeah, he's right. right. Because he's right. like around that time, and this is when you get into the whole idea where it's just like they had black artists in these genres dominating these genres and then you have like some of the white men come in build record labels take it and cultivate it into something of their own and then that's when it gets adopted i guess you could say by white culture and this is why it's like with some of the black people now it's like uh jazz blues like what is yeah. that rock and like you know what i mean they turn their nose up and it's just like if you educate yourself it was once like ours you yeah, know what exactly. i mean so it's just like it's, it's just a whole thing where it's just like, you know. Now, that's a good point because a lot of our culture that gets used, mm -hmm. um, we, it don't exist no more. We don't know that we we know we, we started some of the, the, yeah. the trends and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. So it gets lost in history. So that that's a good point. But I would say about this Kanye West album, this is the last thing I'm going to say on it, is that, you know, it is a gospel album. It's not hip hop. It should be labeled gospel. This is yeah. a song um, that my mom, who's Christian, who goes to church every Sunday, can listen to front to back. Honestly, honestly, not, I'm not lying. No, that's I a know. fact. No, I know. I know. You know, that's know. a fact. So, what do we have next? Um, next on the agenda for the What's Your Ground Like, we have Kevin Hart shares a video from his recovery after the car accident. Um, early September, um, Kevin Hart got into a really bad car yes, accident he where he um had back injuries, and in this um small clip on Instagram, he showed his process of like. It's, it's like him learning how, not relearning how to walk again, but it did, he did fall off because he did have a injury down his spine. And we know that the spine is like very imperative to the body because when some people get injured in the spine, that can lead them to um, paralyzation. I think that's word. Yeah, that <laughs> but, is word. Um, and most people get paralyzed after a spine injury, but luckily he was able to recover um, and go to therapy and rehab just to get back into shape that he is in but they also said that with him um having this injury he'll didn't he didn't he find god too he did find god everybody's finding god now everybody's did, finding god he did find god and a lot yeah. of people do find god after very yeah, tragic that's a incidents fact. yeah it's humbling yeah when you go through a situation sometimes when you famous like these two guys kanye west um you know since we just talked about him i might as well compare and, and kevin hart when you're on top of the world, sometimes your 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 other stuff get blanked out, yeah. and you just like, oh, money, girls, you know, gotta get this gig, gotta get this uh, acting gig. You know, Kevin Hart is always getting the acting yeah. gigs. Oh, taking this deal, alright, this is a good movie, this, da da da. So you get lost in that life, mm -hmm. and you know, his mother was Christian because I remember um, a story on him and his mom telling him to read the Bible, and you know, one day he finally listened, and his mother left money in that Bible for him that yeah. he was asking for. So, you know, it, 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 that's how it is. You know, some guys, they lose sight of, of that. Yeah. And it takes a humbling experience. Kanye West had his sh shit. He might not have had a car accident. I mean, he did have a car accident, but that, that's not how he felt. You know, he came to God like how Kevin Hart did. He did have a, con um, a car accident when he had the jaw issue, you know? Yeah. But um, at the same time, it takes a, a life experience to humble you. You know what I'm saying? We had a boxer, Errol Spence Jr., who um got in a car accident. He was he won a fight. He won a boxing match. Next thing you know, a few days later, the boy is driving without no seatbelt on a Ferrari. And you know, it was almost sorry. It almost, it almost was a sorry moment, but he yeah. flew out the car. Normally when you fly out the car, you think death. Yeah. 
he was able to just only have face lacerations, no broken bones in his body. So a lot of guys, they live on the edge of life. You feeling good about what you're doing and you're not thinking like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I might lose my life. Yeah. So Cameron Hart, he had his wake up call moment when he got into the accident and he said, my world has forever changed. So he's grateful to be alive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's grateful to be alive for sure. And hopefully we'll see him once he gets healthy back into, into, into some more movies because I damn sure want to laugh. I mean, like, he is going to be in movies, but on set, he needs to take, like... Yeah, he like, needs to take his time. Hour, like, he needs to take his time. Breaks. He needs to pace himself. Yeah, that's what you think about said. this? Um, I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on this topic. To be honest with you, I didn't hear too much about Kevin Hart. Yeah. But, um, it sounds like he got very lucky. Like, yeah, he, he did get very lucky. To get back to recovery. You know what I mean? And this wasn't on the program either, so my yeah, apologies yeah, yeah, nah, because yeah, yeah. it just got added to the program, the ground report today, because I remember this is something that um, Mel wanted to um, talk about. So that's kind of why it's a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, I literally, like, before I came here, I, it got added to the ground report. So, you know, but yeah, man, Kevin Hart continue to get better. Yeah. And what do we have next? Um, next I do these things today, oh, Jamie. doing good. Um, next, we have LeBron James said he and his family had to move due to wildfires in California. Um, first, we'd like to say I hope everybody out in California are safe. Yes, um, these sir. wildfires are getting out of control. I mean, yes, Mother Nature is yes, yelling at us, and we need to listen to her. Mm -hmm. um, so You're very big on the planet, so I know you got stuff to say. Listen, we... It's, it's like a lot of things is rising to surface and we're hearing more about it and like we're honestly, in the news. Like, honestly, real quick, I just want to say this. The planet is dying. Like the planet, like when I was with my friend and we was talking, we was like, yo, the planet is really dying. And people was just like, ah, like the yeah. planet is gone. You know what I'm saying? The planet is, is you know, losing. The president doesn't believe it's real, so. Yeah, you know, it's 60 degrees in October. Make that Bro, cold, I mean, today is cold. Don't get me wrong, but yesterday I could have worked with a white beater. The day I need a windbreaker. It's not normal <laughs> to go from 67 to, to like 39. To yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? You wake up, bro, and you you freezing in your bed, bro. I, I couldn't even get up this morning. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's sticking too because from here on out, it's just going to be 40s and 30s. It's, it's flipping, flopping. That's how yeah. people get sick. I mean, man, but shout out to those people in California, like you yeah, said. Yeah, um, and I hope everything is good with LeBron James. You know, with wildfires, it touches our house and it misses the next. So that's the thing just, about living in California too. Yeah, it's too much, crazy. too much. It's too dry. It's a lot of yeah. stuff, and you know, it's pros and cons of where you want to live. A lot of people they like to go to California because it's palm trees. Hey, yo, what's good, uh, Spike Lee? Well, Spike Lee, you can catch him in Brooklyn. So let me not say Spike Lee. Yeah. What's good, Jack Mickelson? What's good? Why did I choose him out of old people? I don't know. It's so many people in California. <laughs> I don't know. His name just popped up, man. I don't know why. But, um, you know, like, that's how it is. And another staggering thing that um, um, Sean King, right, he brought, um, um, he, he brought up something on, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the dude that he's heavy into politics and stuff yeah. like that. And he, he brings a lot of issues to light. He was saying a lot of these dudes that's fighting wildfires are prisoners. Mm. And, they, and they're not even getting no type of recognition or nothing. Those dudes that's out here literally fighting. Um, fighting these wildfires and, and, and being brave is actual prisoners. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that that's something, you know, that I thought that, you know, could resonate with somebody, you know, in their mind. Like, wow, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That is, that is something, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hopefully everybody, they can recover. Yeah. And, you know, LeBron James, hopefully you and your family is safe. I heard he found a place. He did find Let something. Let me guess. LeBron, I, I bet you LeBron James might find God too. After this, <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James is maybe, next. Maybe he found God already. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Who um, knows? But yeah, so next we have on the list is the trailer for Powered Mid Season finale has dropped. I have I got a hot take. Out. I have a hot take. Go ahead. Ghost is going to be on the show, and at the end of the show, He's going to find God, too. I could not with you right now. <laughs> Let's go. Ghost and Tommy, after all the dirt they have did in that show, is going to find God. Tasha is going to find God. A lot of people is going to find God in that show. I think you're going to find God, Will. I think you're up next. <laughs> Is that? I think you're up next to find God. Now, I already found God. Trust me. I come from that home, man. I praise his name. You know what I'm saying? You. I already got God on my side. I'm just telling it like it is with these other people. They need to find God. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah. Um, the trailer for Power, Missy finale dropped. Mm -hmm. I am so hyped, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all don't understand because I know somebody's getting knocked off. It's already Somebody, said somebody's well, biggest getting knocked main, off. Main, main no, it might be main main characters. It I might feel like be main main. It might be main main. 
It could be somebody named Ghost or Tommy. They're not gonna kill Tommy. Nah, boy, I have a feeling That's Ghost have a lot of en kill. enemies right now. Um, on J one Ghost dead now. Um, the feds is coming after Ghost, even though they've been coming after him since Dag on season one, the first episode it seemed like. But Tommy's coming after him. Tariq, his own son, done turned on him now. Want him dead. Tasha want him dead. Like everybody wants Ghost. I don't see Ghost. With all the enemies he's created over this time, um, the senator, Governor Tate, is one ghost dead now. It, ghost got too much heat and energy for me to think that he's gonna survive um, the mid-season finale and five other spin-off episodes after that. You know what I'm saying? You have no faith in Ghost. I don't know. I, I mean, if he survives, that's good. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Maybe him and Tommy might die. Maybe both of them might die. If, if possible. 50, if 50 kills both of them, that's wild. That's it's no more power. I mean, 50, 50 dead. No, but I'm saying like 50 said the producer, but I'm not saying if he kills them out. Oh, you talking about producer, oh, as a producer? I'm about to be like, yeah. he gonna come back. So y'all gotta take it. It's Kane ain't gonna come back alive. Nah, I, I was, I was saying Kane, <laughs> but I'm saying like if 50 kills Kanan. Ghost and Tommy, like he don't want no money. <laughs> That's a fact. He he strategically planned this season out for it to be on his side. So yeah. we're gonna see what 50 does. Well, I think Tariq and, and, and a couple other people is going to be in the spinoff that they have. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I think some people are going to get knocked off. The, the the producer, one of the head producers, I forgot her name, of the show, that um she normally gives the recap on why somebody died or why they yeah. killed off. She said somebody, she already said somebody big was dying. That came to be um Keisha. And she said somebody bigger than Keisha would be dying at this mid-season finale. So, mm -hmm. and the only people I see that's bigger than Keisha is Tasha. Um, Dre, Tommy, and Ghost, and I don't, I don't think they're killing Tariq. So you could put that, you could dust that theory to the I side. Know he <laughs> yes, sir. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the Grime Report. This was a good Grime Report today. A lot of information, oh, a lot hi. of news, and guess what? I refuse to lose, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back from a very short commercial, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna get into Craig's segment of the show, which is this week in hip hop history. We got two for you today. We got a lot for you. We got two. This week's in hip-hop for you today. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? You know, we going in. We going in.